girls. Hope you guys had a great week. Hi. So today, Miss Cummings is going to do calendar. Well, thank you for being such a nice sharing friend, Miss Sandy. For sure. Any time. Can do it. So should we start with our days of the week song? Sounds good. All right, boys and girls, what do we start with? Does anybody remember what this one is? Are we ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, well, let's take a little peek. I will grab our wand. <clears throat> we'll start at the first. Ooh, it's been a while, Miss Abby. <laughs> I'm going to start over here. So yesterday was Thursday. Yeah. Today is Friday. So I'm going to put it right up there. And now we can do some counting. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, what do you think it is? Is this a number? Eight. eight. Here's the number eight. Good job. So today is Friday, May the 8th. And Miss Annie, it looks like we had two birthdays this week. Two friends that celebrated birthdays. Two more birthdays. So fun. Whose birthdays yeah. were they this coming? Happy birthday to Bennett W. on May the 3rd and to our friend Sora on May the 4th. Wow. Happy birthday, Bennett and Sora. Hope you guys have a great day. All right. Now let's take a little peek at the weather. I see through the cloud, through the blinds today, that it is a very rainy, kind of cloudy day. So let's see. I'm going to turn it backwards today. There it is. There's the rain. It's a rainy day. All right. So, for today, we are going to play a game. I'm so excited. I know. I'm so excited. I love playing games. So, I have my little pot here. And, hmm, I don't know if you're going to be able to oh. see very well from over there. No, that's a good point, Miss Abby. Hmm, what should I do? If I want to go sit over there, there's no chair. I'm going to go sit there. Huh, I have a problem. You know what? I bet I could find a chair. Would that be would that be a good solution? That would work. I'll move it over here. Perfect. I'll sit here. Good problem solving for coming. Okay. Well thank your help. And now I can see the board so much clearer. Awesome. Alright. So I have some letters on different sea creatures in my little bucket and Miss Sandy's going to go fishing and I'm going to fish out a letter and we're going to see if you guys can guess what letter it is. All right. Okay. And I'm not going to look either because I want to play the game too. She's going to play the game. Here's my little fishing rod. Let's see. Whoop. Oh. I have you guys see what letter this is? We're not going to show Miss Cummings. This letter says, mmm. Mm. I don't know what letter says, mmm. Mm. I remember that the children were hungry. Hmm. Oh, I think I might know. Let's get it. Put my down, the line, the line. Is this the letter M? You're right. Yes. Is it the same? It's yeah, the same. Yeah, you got it. Good, Good job, Miss Cummings. Oh, nice job today. All right. Are you ready for our next one? Yep, I'll erase my letter M. Sounds good. Oh, I caught another fish, friends. Let's see. Do you guys know what letter this is? It says D, 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 D. Hmm. The boy was playing the drum. Mm -hmm. He found it in that closet with lots of things. Duh, duh, duh. Okay, I'll get under there. I make a big line down by my happy face. I make a big curve all the way to the bottom line. Is it? Is she right, boys and girls? Did I get it right? Is it a D? Yes! yes. It's the letter D. All right, we'll stick that one there. All right, I'm going to go fishing again. Let's see, I caught another one. Oh, can you guys see the letter? It says, uh, 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 uh. Do we need something like this for today, Miss Sandy? We do. On a rainy day? Yeah. So it would be an umbrella. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go 
down and around and come up. Is it the letter? Is she right? She's right. You? It's the letter U. Yes. Nice. All right. Let's see. Here comes another one. Oh, oh it got away. Oh, wow, that's a tricky one. <laughs> that one does not want to be caught, but I caught it. Good job. I kept trying. All right. Can you guys see the letter? It says, go, 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 Hmm. But that, that one says j j j j j. Right. Miss Fanny okay. wants the good good good. Good good good. So the water's gonna go down the drain. Okay. I think I'm gonna make a big curve like I have my feet, and then I'm gonna put a little line right there. Is that it? That's the one. Nice. That's the Ooh. letter G. Thanks. Good job. G g g. Right. The letter G. Okay. We have three more. Oh. Oh. We have another tricky one, friends. Oh, I got it. All right. This one, can you guys see it? It says, Err. Uh, line down, little curve, little line up. Mm -hmm. It's the R. Nice. Is that what Chewbacca says a lot, Miss Sandy? That's what Chewbacca does when we have his toys and he tries to get it away from us. He definitely makes that sound. All right, two left. Let's see. Whoa. Got it. There we go. Can you guys see it? This one is eh, 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 eh. All right, so I'm going to make that big line down in the middle this time. A little line across the top. A little line on the bottom. Is this the letter I? It's the letter I. Yeah. She got it. Yeah. We can't trick her. She's doing good. All right. Last one. Here it comes. Can you see it? This one goes. Feel somebody on my lip. It does. I think we just did it last week, right, Miss Sandy? Okay, one. so I'm gonna start at the happy face. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna come back up. <gasps> Isn't the letter B? It's the letter B. Yes. Good job, Miss Cummings. Thank you. I practice a lot, though, Miss Sandy. I had to practice a lot to know those letters. Perfect. All right. So there's our nice. fun letter game. Thanks for playing. Hopefully you guys did super well and you're remembering them too. You can even play that game at home with your family too. Yeah, you can even just put them on, cut out some little paper and write the letters on it and play a game with it too. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so Miss Cummings, did we come to school today? Yes, that's, that's all, all done. Oh. Just before we go, Miss Eddie, can we sing a song too? Oh, you love to sing songs. Absolutely. For sure. Let's sing a song. Let's pull you down. There we go. So that they're out of our way for the song Maybe then. We go. Maybe we could just move them down. Move them down, sure. Because it's about the fish that I see today. So I have how many fish? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. We have five fish today. All right. And we have a little shark. Are you ready to be our shark today, Miss Oh, Daddy? Okay. Okay. So the song goes like this. Some of you will know it. And thanks also, before we start, thanks to everybody who sent in their shark pictures. You guys are great sharks. And then it reminded me that we could sing this song too. All right, here we go. Um, All right. I'm trying to remember the song completely. Do you remember it, Miss Andy, and the song? Did you say Five Little Sharks Swimming in the Sea? Yes, right? here we go. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Right. Thank you. Five little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And snap! Ooh. You know how many fish are there? One, two, three, four. There's four. Four little fishies swimming in the sea. 
He's a Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark as quiet as can be. And snap! Boom. Now there's only one, two, three. Three little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasy Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And stop! Uh-oh. Now there's only one, two. The fish are getting less and less. Okay, here we go. Two little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And stop! Now there's only one. one. Oh, he's a lonely fishy, let's see. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? One. one little fishy swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you, you can't, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark. As quiet as can be. And. Oh, yeah, you missed me! That's a fishy! No! And I think the shark had to swim away and the fishy swam to safety. Good job! Nice. How do you think that fishy felt, Miss Daddy? That Ooh. one was, yeah, he was probably thinking I was lucky. Yeah, absolutely. He felt very relieved. All right. We'll just put all his little friends back up because they're all back happy again. All right. So now, yeah, it's circle all done. <laughs> it's all, all done. done. Bet. And next is craft time. So let's go over to the green table and we'll see what we're going to make today. Okay. Have fun. All right, boys and girls, thanks for coming to craft with me. So today, let's see if you can guess what we're going to make. So this sea creature likes to walk sideways. It has a hard shell. His shell is kind of like a circle. Did you guess a crab? If you did, you are right. This is my friend Sebastian. Is Sebastian from a movie that you might have seen? Little Mermaid? I love that one. But today we are going to make a crab. So what you're going to need is you could get a plate. I happen to have a red plate, but if you don't have a red plate, you could draw a circle and color it red or paint it red. Then you're going to need, he has pinchers, right? That he likes to grab things with. So if you cut two ovals, and then I'll show you how we're going to make his little pincher part. I have googly eyes, but again, if you don't have googly eyes, you can just draw some eyes on. And then he needs some legs. Now the legs are, I just have three, almost looks like a letter E sort of, right? And then we've cut them out to look like that. So maybe your parents could help you guys cut that out. And those will be his legs. So I'm going to start with my eyes and I'm just going to be gentle with my glue because I don't want too much. So I'm just going to try to have gentle hands, one and two, because I have two eyes. There, perfect. Then I'm just going to draw a nose. What shape could I do my nose, do you think? A circle? Yeah, I could. There's my nose. Do a circle. And then I'm going to have a happy crab. So I'm going to draw a little mouth. So I'll show you what he looks like without his hands and feet yet. He is. All right. Now, do you guys see? I have a little V drawn on my oval. So that shows me where I need to snip. So I'm going to take my scissors. Remember, my thumb is up. 
and I'm going to line it up on the black line and I'm going to snip and then I'm going to turn and I'm going to snip on the other side and then that middle piece comes out. So there's one and now I'm going to do it on the other one too. So again, I see where my V is, my thumb is up, so I'm going to line my scissors on the black line and snip. And the other side, snip. And there we go. So now I'm going to glue those on his body. I'm going to put them up here today. One on one side, one on the other. And then I'm just going to stick his feet on and then craft will be all done. That was a quick one today. All right, so here's some glue for one foot and then the other one. And then I can show you what he looks like. Because I'm all done. And if you guys are practicing your names at home, you guys could flip it over and you guys could practice writing your name on the back. So should I write Sandy? I'm going to write Sandy on here so that we know this is my crab. Perfect. Are you ready to see it? Hope you have fun making your crabs and I can't wait to see them. Hi boys and girls. Today I wanted to show you another way we can play games and still help to get our hands nice and strong. So just like the craft that you just made with Miss Sandy, you, that crab had pinchers. Today, you can have your own pinchers too. You could use a clothespin that you have or a clip, or you can use tongs that you have, or even tweezers for sure. And so in this game today, we're going to look at the different shapes that we did, but you could put inside your bowl, it's like a fishing bowl this time too, you could put colors, or you could put letters, whoa, that are flying, or you could even put numbers inside the bowl and play it with your family. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my pincher today. I think I'm going to use the tongs and I'm going to pick the top. I'm going to pick up the shape inside the bowl and I'm going to pull it out. And then I'm going to have to remember what the name of the shape was. So let's see, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to use my tongs. I'm going to actually have to look and I'm going to pick it out. And I'm going to see what shape is this one? Two long sides and two little sides. This is a rectangle. You're right, it's our rectangle, so I'm going to put it here. All right, let's go inside the bowl. I'm going to mix it up a little bit more. I'm going to pull out this shape. This shape is a one, two, three sides and three points. One, two, three. It's a triangle. Nice remembering, everybody. All right, I'll go back inside my bowl. You know what? I'm going to switch now. I'm going to use my clips. So now I'm going to go to my other hand and I'm going to try to even clip with my other hand. Tell my other hand is stronger. Let's see. And this might be a little bit trickier. I'm finding it tricky, but I'll keep trying. I have my no sides, no points. It's a circle. You got it. There's our circle. And the last shape we're going to look at today, we're going to see if we can remember it. Oh, this is tricky using my other hand, but it's good to keep trying. Come on, pinchers. There we go. I got it. And it is a, let's see, there's one, two, three, four sides that are all the same. This tells me it's a square. So hopefully you can play this game with your family and even be a crab and see if you can trick your brothers and sisters as well. Thanks for playing. All right, boys and girls, we're going to stick with our theme since we were did a, a crab for crab, we pulled out a book called Clumsy Crab, and it's by Ruth Galloway. All right, let's see what this book is about. Clumsy Crab. Nipper the crab hated his huge, clumsy claws. Snip, snap, clip, clap. No matter how hard he tried, they always got in the way. None of his friends had clumsy claws. He wished he had tickly tentacles like octopus and jellyfish or flippity fins like turtle and the fish. 
One day, Nipper was playing catch the bubbles with his friends. Pop! His clumsy claws burst the bubble. They couldn't play that game anymore, so they had to play tag instead. Nipper scuttled off sideways, but one of his clumsy claws got in the way. Whoa! Nipper slipped and stumbled, tripped and tumbled, until he was buried up to his eyes in sand. Turtle came to dig him out. Everyone decided to play hide and seek, and Nipper climbed into a big clam shell and pulled it shut. Oh, was he hiding? I wonder how he's feeling. It was the perfect hiding place until smash! Nipper's clumsy claws shattered the shell into hundreds of tiny pieces. Ouch! he cried. Help! Jellyfish picked up the pieces of shell. If I didn't have these clumsy claws, I wouldn't break everything and I'd be good at hide and seek, said Nipper. Don't worry, said Nipper, said the others. We'll hide and you can find us. Nipper counted to ten, then set off to find his friends. He scuttled through the sand and found Turtle. He shuffled under the shells and he found Jellyfish. And he searched up and down, in and out, and all around the rocks. But he couldn't find octopus anywhere. Suddenly, everyone heard a cry. Octopus was tangled up tightly in some seaweed. Oh no! Help! Octopus, he squirmed and he squiggled, and he wriggled and he jiggled. Turtle and jellyfish tried to help, but the knots just got tighter and tighter. So he's stuck in there. Nipper had an idea. Nipper snipped at the seaweed with his claws. Faster and faster, Nipper danced around the clump of seaweed, snipping and snapping and clipping and clapping. His claws moved quickly, slashing and slicing, shredding and dicing, until the sea was filled with tiny pieces of swirling seaweed. Octopus was finally free. Thank you, Nipper. You are a clever crab, he cheered. Nipper waved his claws happily. At last he knew how useful they could be. The end. So that was nice. So his claws were great for helping his friend get out of the seaweed. That was a nice story. That's one of my favorite for Sammy. I really like that story. It was sweet. It looks like he would have been super helpful. And I think probably at the end when he helped his friends solve the problem, he probably would have felt really proud of himself. Mm -hmm. Right, Miss Sammy? Yeah, because he was able to get his friend out of that situation. Absolutely. And none of his other friends couldn't. Absolutely. So he was he had a special job to do and he did it and he did it so well. Good. And that just reminds me, this girl too, if we talk about proud, she looks like she is tying her shoe. She looks very proud of it. Look at her, she's smiling. She's like, wow, I did a great job as well. Mm -hmm. Have you ever felt proud too? Have you ever thought, oh, I did this all by myself where I worked so hard and now I can do it. Just like Clumsy Crab, he definitely felt proud. Right. Yeah. All right, Miss Sandy. You also mentioned, Miss Sandy, that our friends oh. could also try to do the crab walk. Yeah, if you guys are at home and have nothing to do, you guys can pretend to be a crab. Have you guys ever done a crab walk before where you go on your back and you put your hands down and you lift your bum up off the air and you walk like a crab? You can try that at home. Totally. All right, so let's see. Did we do Craft and Center today with Miss Sandy? All, All done. done. Did we, did I show you some shapes and different games you could play at home? All, All done. done. Kind of like with your crab clippers. Then did Miss Sandy read a story about clumsy crab? All, All done. done. Okay, so what time is it now? Oh man, it's home time. time. That went so fast. So fast. Hope you have a wonderful week and you
you are enjoying spending time with your family and hope you can get outside a little bit a lot more too. Mm -hmm. For sure. Have a great week, everybody. Bye. Bye.